What's up guys, this is Ryan from Tower Reviews and today I'm going to be talking about my first impressions on the iPhone 6 after about 24 hours of use with the phone. So first of all I want to talk about the design which obviously has changed a lot and not just in the size of the display which is now about 0.7 inches bigger than the iPhone 5 and 5S but also how Apple has sort of redesigned the phone uh, which they do every two years around. I think this is one of the most radical redesigns uh, definitely since the iPhone 4 slash 4S design bump, I think that this is uh, the biggest design change since then. It's a lot like the iPod Touch 5th generation. It's very thin and rounded, and uh, it's a lot more of a flat design, I would say, sort of uh, consistent with how the operating system is. It's very simple and flat, but yet elegant, and it looks very nice and feels nice. It's very thin and lightweight, and uh, now you have that big new screen, which um, looks very good. It's the Retina HD, still the same pixel density as the 5 and 5S, but um, they changed some things with the saturation and color reproduction, and it looks really good. Uh, better viewing angles, and overall, it's, it's a solid display that you're not going to complain with. And with that added size, it looks very good. You have a lot more real estate and you have the ability to bring the screen down if you can't reach it and uh, overall it's very pleasant to type on. So far the battery life seems pretty good um, even with that really thin design you're still able to get through a full day pretty easily. Obviously I've only used it for 24 hours which is enough to get some idea of the battery but uh, probably after a week would be a better indicator going through a full day and everything. So with the thinness you have that smaller battery relative to the actual phone size and you have this camera that sticks out, which I really don't like. I don't know why Apple would decide to make the phone so thin just for thinness sake, really. I mean, it, it kind of has two negatives along with it, and it really doesn't bring anything except the feel, which I guess is very important, how a phone feels when you pick it up. But I would have liked to have seen uh, them stick with the, like, recessed camera lens, because that, that can scratch. Um... Really, it still lays pretty flat on a table. I haven't found that to be a problem. You can still tap on it and it doesn't move. So I'm guessing that they specifically designed it to be that way. So if you're worried about that, you can still type uh, flat on the table without it being a problem. If we look around the device, we can see that the power button has changed to the right-hand side, which works really well with this size phone. It's very easy to tap. And you wouldn't want to have to shimmy up to the top to press the uh, power button. You have the Touch ID on the front, which this is my first time actually using Touch ID, and it's been pretty good so far. I've got it working with some third-party apps, and that's nice for quick logins. On the bottom, you have the Lightning connector with exposed screws next to it, and the mono speaker on the right-hand side, which sounds fairly good. Um, the one thing I hate about it is that you can pretty easily cover it just by holding the phone in the normal position. I found myself trying to listen to music on it and muffling it a lot, and like... Uh, even like text tones and stuff get muffled if you're holding the phone like this, so I don't know. It's kind of a, a little bit of an annoyance, but overall it sounds good when it's not being covered, so that's definitely a plus. As far as the actual performance of iOS 8, I've had some hiccups, but that's to be expected with a brand new operating system on a brand new phone. Um, here and there, like, there'll be some freezes, but overall, I mean, it's really quick, really not much stuttering. As you can see here, just going around through the operating system it's smooth and you'll have the occasional hiccup but again that's to be expected so I mean that's about it for the things that have changed with this phone um, really not that much of a difference I mean the main thing obviously is the display size and I think that for most people it's gonna be a really nice fit I think it, Apple really hit the sweet spot with the 4.7 inch I have yet to feel the uh, iPhone 6 Plus I feel like that would probably be too big for me but for this phone I really like it, and uh, it really reminds me of the HTC One. It's a little bit smaller, but I think the design looks very similar with the uh, bands down at the bottom and up at the top, and I don't know, there's just a lot of similarities between the two phones, and I thought that this was a really nice looking phone. With some of those Apple characteristics thrown in there, it really uh, does come together to be a pretty nice product. So yeah guys, that's my first impressions after 24 hours on the iPhone 6. Thank you for watching, and make sure to stay tuned for future videos by subscribing below.